other part like this the same way for uh, this part okay uh, no need to put this general size in case edge so we select edge this edge and put 0 0.2 that is the other side number of elements in this fine around this edge end course uh, so let reverse this direction this arrow direction select all then okay then apply here so fine around this and uh, more course in this direction apply then mesh okay let's let's try again another type of mesh okay first select this uh, part this edge end size 0 0.8 or you can say one the same way this edge create by size is none and by size that is one similar to the right side okay then in mesh type select X sweep mesh ok so the mesh looks like this is relatively good mesh around this area and of course in in edge so to create what uh, interaction surface to surface interaction uh, then go to in assembled create surface before that let's let's remove part one then easily you can select this part so call this master surface okay then sets create set let add this part select this part add then let go to cell select this one ok then remove then after that what we will do create this one revert invert display so we will get this one so go to set create nodes
So select the whole part. This cell. Okay. Then add all part like this way. Then go to interaction. Uh, before that is interaction property. Manager create contact. Then in mechanical tangential property and put 0 0.3. Coefficient. Okay, then I create in step surface to surface contact explicit select surface master surface. Let's highlight this one the previous service what we have created before. Then continue. Then we have choose the second surface, it's surface or node region. So select a re node region and select nodes. Just penalty contact method and create OK. So go to load module. load module create uh, in caster condition uh, so before that let's go to part again and create one more partition here extrude along direction okay Then go to mesh remesh it. Maybe in this case some modification it may need in assembly module in nodes. Uh, okay, uh, let's reselect the nodes. So follow the previous step, go to this cells, this one and this by, by pressing shift button, then remove, then invert. So edit nodes, select this all nodes, okay then add uh, maybe it's mesh type uh, I mean uh, material type uh, didn't select before so go to this part so select the whole part in the explicit then we put one important point here our glass uh, can use as a default or enhancer type you can uh, both way it's possible but element deletion it must be checked yes it must be uh, checked in yes otherwise it's impossible to cut uh, the material so okay so in the same way for the cutting tool, you can select and put 3D uh, 
explicit type okay then we go to load module we finished all procedures so go to here in step module that initial symmetry and symmetry in caster then select this two faces so in caster okay so here create another boundary condition displacement row dictation then select a good cell the cutting part so continue and constraint in direction it, it will free, freely move in y direction so uh, leave as uh, as it is uh, uncheck part check this that means constraint no movement in y and z direction but it will move freely downward in y direction so okay uh, in load in this uh, load manager concrete uh, load for these two cells in step mechanical you can add gravity because when you cut the metal these two parts when this cutting tool cut up to this point it will drop out so we have gravity load so continue in y direction you can put minus nine eight this much value in, instead of region the whole model select this edit region then select this cell one and the other one here okay so it will uh, move down or door it will uh, fall down when it cuts so the other in velocity in mechanical velocity and set this part one in the direction put three thousand millimeter per second uniform okay it move down okay then you can save this part save as then go to drop module create job sure continue ok then let uh, data check check whether some mistake there it will warn us so check the data if it is ok it will submit the job Okay guys I analyze this checking analyze completed and there is no issue there is no uh, mistake so submit this analysis and wait for the result okay there is a the results come out here the analysis completed successfully so go to visualization module then see uh, those things so at uh, miss stress looks like other 
parameters it is up to you when the process completed you can uh, choose any of uh, this part then go to how the simulation is looks like so the punch with the cutters moves down and cut the material this way then this scrap part will drop out due to the gravity load what we have applied before in uh, load module so see this the stress Okay, thank you for watching. This is all about today's video.